Hello everyone! Welcome to what I believe is the first FCA Friday in a couple months, if not all summer. I have just been busy. I've been stressed and just haven't been able, like I've been consistent with the Makeup Mondays, but FCA Fridays just really went to the wayside. And here's one that I wanted to do. Uh, nobody asked for this, but I'm going to do it anyway. It was my birthday last week, and I was way too busy to do anything last week. But I am able to do this for you today. And I was 30. I turned 30 years old. And I don't feel a whole lot different. There are some people who act like turning 30 is the same as turning 90. I'm not going to stop listening to rap music and going out to bars at midnight or anything. Um, I don't see a reason to change that drastically. But I am going to share with you some birthday gifts. Uh, most of them I bought for myself. There's only... Uh, my coworker got me a flower and I was... I've been on girl time. And... So I was emotionally charged and craving a candy bar. So she had gotten me four of the Nutrageous candy bars that I had been craving that didn't have Reese's Pieces stuff in them because those were the only ones I could find. And she got me a yellow rose and a cute little note and a balloon, which is right here. And another coworker had gotten me some sparkling wine which is in the fridge. I'll put a picture here, uh, but I haven't drank any of that because I've been taking Midal and it's not a good idea to mix alcohol and medicine regardless of what it is. So I'm gonna start with the other things that my family had bought me. My brother bought me this. Minecraft is my favorite video game. So he got me this color changing potion bottle light it's kind of been a theme for my brother the last couple years. He got me one of the Minecraft torches, one of the little ore blocks that lights up, and now I have a light up potion bottle because the potions in Minecraft change colors. So I'm so excited about that. And then I have to rearrange my light. brand new fancy sewing machine I have a sewing machine but it's old it's been in disrepair and I've had problems with it but now I have a new fancy sewing machine that I haven't taken out of the box or done anything with because I really haven't had a chance to until today set that back down gentle like <laughs> And then some things that I bought for myself, because of them for the stuff I bought for myself, I placed a Sephora order and a Lush order. And from Sephora, I got a full size, this was in limited edition packaging, but I was gonna get the full size of the Origins Checks and Balances um, Frothy Face Wash. I had a sample of it that I liked. I tried some other facial cleansers. Ended up buying the smaller version of this. This is the 8.5 fluid ounces. I had gotten the one fluid ounce, but then I was like, I like this stuff a lot. It's worth the money for me to get a full size. You only need a little bit. This is gonna last me a really long time. The one fluid ounce had lasted me about a month and a half. And then the sample size had actually lasted me about two and a half weeks. So that's going to be a long-term thing. Very excited about that. And then there was the, if you spend whatever amount of money, you get the little weekly sample. And the weekly sample I got was the, no, it was a hundred points. Then I got the 100 point perk of the Lala Retro Whipped Cream Fruité Moisturizer. 
from Drunk Elephant. And I got that because there was some hair stuff or you could get some more VIB rouge points or you could get the birthday gift of Drunk Elephant and you would get the protein polypeptide cream and the Bestie number no. nine jelly cleanser. I have used everything since my birthday. The jelly cleanser is fine. I really prefer this in the morning and it squeezes out of this little pump down here and it smells like can cantaloupe. Uh, for some reason that word came out like that. And then the polypeptide cream is a really thick whipped cream. Don't eat it. And it, it's a nice thick cream. And I also really like the retro cream for By My Eyes. It's very, very thick and both of them sink into the skin really well. Again, the Drunk Elephant's just not in my budget to try full size. <laughs> But for getting the sample sizes, I really enjoy them. I would have to wait until I got a better job to uh, get to invest in those or save up for several months and neglect other things. Then let's see, I have the Lancome uh, Genifique Advanced Youth Activating Concentrate Serum as one of the samples. And then I got a Beard Lube Conditioning Shave. I'm not going to use that, but my fiance does have a beard, so he'll enjoy that. I just wasn't interested in anything else that they had. Then from Lush, I just made a small Lush order. I got the Buffy, Buffy Body Butter, which is flaking off because I did cut part of it off. I prefer to cut pieces of this instead of trying to put the whole thing into the shower because it will melt and disintegrate in the moisture and humidity of the shower. But I love having it on my skin. It's such a great exfoliator, wonderful summer scent. And I got two toner tabs, the tea tree toner tabs. They, they you put them in some hot water, they steam your face, they feel luxurious, and they make your skin feel so amazing. And I haven't had those in a long time. And I also ordered from a website called Sheen or Shine, S-H-E-I-N. And I'm going to show the clothes that I got in a different thing because I'm waiting, to, I'm waiting for my paycheck, sort some bills out, and then I'm gonna make another clothing order but I got these temporary tattoos. They're these just four packs of these little tattoos. This one is actually, the words are all backwards so that you can read them when you peel them off. And I already cut out some of them to use because I think these would make cute little wrist tattoos. I'm not interested in getting a real tattoo. If you wanna say, oh, that's such a cop out. Yeah, it is. It's so that I get the benefit and the coolness and the fun of a tattoo without the extreme cost and commitment <laughs> and pain. So that is my little birthday haul Ness. I hope that uh, share with me what you got for your birthday. We can rock out our 30s like we're back in our 20s and we're going to show that we don't have to suddenly stop liking and enjoying things just because there's now a three in front of our age. I don't understand that at all. So, 